Good morning. So this morning I am making a video for biology, uh, lecture 01, and this one is on cellular energy. So um, I'm going to switch to my document camera. So here you can see um, obviously cellular energy, and what that is is um, animals and plants get their energy. Most of our energy comes from the sun. And there are laws of thermodynamics. There are two laws. The first law is uh, that energy can change form. We have, uh, it can't be created or destroyed, um, but it can change. So most of our energy that we talk about for biology is chemical energy. Um, most animals need burn fuel to produce heat. So a lot of our energy is just used to make our bodies warm and also uh, movement when you're exercising. That's why you, you get sweaty is because you're burning a lot of chemicals and producing a lot of heat. And the second law of th thermodynamics states the system changes from state of order to states of disorder. So the idea is um, if I had a, a good example of disorder, is an order is so if i have a cup of water and that water is contained within that cup and if i take that cup and throw it that water is going to go out into the room and splatter and go everywhere and so that's a change to disorder now we wouldn't see the reverse of that we wouldn't see all the water in the room suddenly fly back into the cup and so the second law of therm thermodynamics basically says that things in nature are going to go to a more chaotic state. They're not going to become organized. All right. And obviously, uh, the last statement down here, um, we get energy from the sun. So most of our energy comes from plants. And so um, that's our life cycle on Earth. Now, there are some animals that do chemosynthesis. Basically, they live at thermal vents or deep underground. They have no access to sunlight, and but they're able to get energy for life through chemical means. And so the sun goes to an autotroph. Autotrophs are thing organisms that can make their own food. And then after that, you have heterotrophs. So here we have a... Looks like, a, oh, I forgot the name of it. Um, the little bugs, aphids. Aphids eating on a leaf. And then we can see a ladybug is going to eat the aphid. And metabolism is all the chemical reactions within our body to um, that are exchanging energy. All right. Then at the bottom here, we have obviously photosynthesis. So photosynthesis is um, taking sunlight. Plants are doing photosynthesis, making oxygen and glucose. And then that oxygen and glucose is available for cellular respiration. So photosynthesis is going to occur in a chloroplast. Cellular res respiration is going to occur in the mitochondria. And it's going to basically recycle that same material make it carbon dioxide and water which is available again for photosynthesis this is a very circular process um unlike you know human activities you know we produce a lot of waste um biological it's perfect there is no waste there is no extra it's completely circular and our main chemical that we use inside our bodies is atp and it's adenine triphosphate, uh, the T meaning tri. So there are three phosphate molecules. Um, ribose, if you remember from our study on macromolecules, ribose is what makes RNA. So that's basically a sugar molecule. Uh, adenine is a nitrogen base. If you remember from our DNA study, we had four letters, A, C, G, and T. This is the letter A. So we have a nitrogen base, 
uh, a ribose, which is a sugar, and then you got these phosphate groups. Um, if you add a water, we call that hydrolysis, and you're getting energy out. So we got an energy that's coming out. Um, and then this diphosphate, notice it's adding water. Probably what you're going to do is remove a water. We call that dehydration reaction, and you get back to ATP. But the main thing is with the breaking down of the ATP, you get that energy. All right. So hopefully you found that useful. Um, I'll try to make these lectures so that, you know, that's something to watch to try to understand um, some of the material. So I hope that's been useful. And I got to figure out how to stop the recording.